That Ryan Garcia left hook got him terrified. Devin Haney posts new pictures, and he got that hand up. He got that guard up crazy after that Ryan Garcia ush, left hook. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now, Devin Haney took to his social media, and he's kind of back on the scene a little bit, posting. Posted a video. He posted a message. It says, they know I'm coming. Pause. Ryan Garcia seen it and replied. Ryan says, no, they don't. <laughs> so Ryan continued to, you know, mock Devin Haney and take shots at Devin Haney. So this to me, alongside this picture that I will get ready to show you in the next 10 seconds, this picture of Devin Haney showcases Devin Haney training alongside with this video. And what I notice in this picture is Devin Haney has his right hand up, kind of covering his temple, protecting his temple, which I called out April 20th in the first fight. So it looks like he's heard the gripes and he's trying to patch the holes in his game. So let me break down what I witnessed in the Ryan Garcia fight. For starters, Ryan Garcia, I do think he was half stepping in camp. He did not look like he had a hardcore discipline and dedicated camp. I don't know why. I don't know what was going on in his personal life. He was making club appearances. He was messing around with OnlyFans chicks and saying they were pregnant and he's married. Just really bizarre stuff. So I don't know what was going on. People were even questioning if he was going to make it to the fight, which is kind of uncanny. It's unheard of. You never really seen a time where there was a scheduled fight and people were so, especially of this magnitude, people were so petrified that we wouldn't even see the fight because of one guy acting so bizarre. So I don't know what that was about and why Ryan elected to act that way, but yet and still he did. Now in the fight, a mistake, I mean, I could tell you several Haney mistakes outside. No rematch clause, not putting Ryan on a rehydration clause. I went over these things, right? His team should have had certain safeguards in place to protect their fighter and they failed. Point blank period. You guys can beat around the bush. If that's what you like, do not watch my channel. You're not going to like it because I ain't got no time to waste. But as far as the fight tactic, Ryan, his number one punch, because not all, but I would say most power punchers or guys who are known for power, they're known for certain combinations and or certain single punches, right? Like David Tua had a crazy left hook. Felix Tito Trinidad, crazy left hook. Nonito Donaire crazy left hook you seen it in the fernando montiel fight Ish. and then he just sparked him right so guys are known mike tyson uppercut javante davis has a crazy uppercut manny pacquiao i, I want to i believe he's going to I, I i will fight he's going to bite me right pacquiao got that straight left butter you got edis landi lada he got that straight left butter better butter like he got that buttery straight left like pacquiao you know and wilder's known for the right hand so i took you through some of these fighters signature punches to make a point the point is if a person is known and has a say it with me signature punch and you have proper time to train and you're a good fighter you should be preparing for that which was bizarre that in round one, Ryan Garcia's signature punch was landed and it hurt Devin Haney within like a minute or so of the first round. So to me, I think Devin Haney in round one was surprised. He totally underestimated Ryan Garcia. He thought Ryan Garcia was maybe a one trick pony and he was far better skilled. And Ryan being his around his age, basically his size, similar reach, 
the attributes on paper were pretty similar, right? There was only one loss between the two of them. He he totally underestimated him. And I don't think he thought Ryan was that fast and that he wouldn't be able to see it coming. Ryan did it with no telegraph. And Ryan has a nasty left hook. It's a whipping. He has like a he has power on it, which makes it more dangerous. Because better be of we just watched him fight Dimitri Bevo. He's not really a fast guy. He's fundamentally sound and he has heavy hands. He got bricks. So when the fighters have brick hands and they also put that speed on it, super dangerous. Mike Tyson, Javante Davis, Pacquiao, you know, that'll that'll mess you up. Ryan Garcia, left hook. And he caught Devin Haney. He caught him early and often in the fight. So now it looks like Devin Haney is petrified of that left hook landing because <laughs> this picture, he's he's in the words of Wu Tang, protect your neck. It looks like he's trying to protect that temple area. And I'm not knocking, I'm not mad at it. That's what you should do. If you have holes in your game, you should try to sew that up. But can he do it? You know, that remains to be seen. He's gonna have to fight another good fighter with similar attributes to ultimately show that. But make no mistake about it. I truly believe the next guy he fights, if, if it's a dangerous guy with some attributes, then they're gonna look from the Lomachenko fights and particularly the Ryan Garcia fight and try their best to exploit what was shown on April 20th. So good on Devin for trying to fix the holes in his game. But I also would go out and say this. I, I feel that Devin Haney, Ryan kind of scrambled his brain a bit. Like, let me explain. The way Devin Haney is acting since the loss appears different. I don't think he thought he could lose. So just imagine if you didn't anticipate a certain circumstance, you're not prepared for it. Like imagine if you were with a girl for three years and you don't suspect her of cheating and then you randomly find out she's been cheating on you. That's gonna hit you like a ton of bricks because you didn't even see this coming. You had no, you, you wanted to be with her forever you didn't see it coming you didn't suspect it you had no clues there were no red flags and then you find out she is actually stepping out on you that's gonna hurt you more because you have no plan for it it's like getting in a car accident and you have no insurance it's gonna hurt because you're like man i wish i would have had the insurance on my vehicle or if you drop your iphone and break it and crack it you wish you had that apple care right Devin Haney, I don't think he thought he could lose to Ryan Garcia at all. So the way he's acting seems like that of a person who didn't think this was a possibility almost, right? And it's like, it's kind of weird. Like Tank ran down on you, then you hopped in the car, but you try to trash talk for a second then hop in the car, fights at the OC County Fair, calling Eddie Hearn, a promoter that you've dealt with, probably more fights more of your recent fights than than not you know over the last several years you called him the fakest snake fakest ninja you know and all this type of stuff over some joshua dubois seats that you didn't rsvp for it just a lot of this stuff looks bad to me i'm just gonna be real it looks bad to me and then like even messages like this they know i'm coming like who says that like Javante Davis just got a crazy knockout versus Frank Martin. And he don't really even be on social media like that. He doesn't have to keep like hinting and, you know, putting out riddles and the Riddler and like getting fans on his side. Cause I seen Devin Haney posted something like better be of you goofies. Better be of said I was top five. I'm going to be top one. It, it just seems like he's trying hard, right? It's, it's hard to explain. It's like somebody who's funny versus someone who's trying to be funny. I feel like this fight with Ryan almost gave Devin a complex or like insecurities. And now he feels like he has like a chip on his shoulder and he's always trying to explain it. If you guys feel the same way, let me know in the comment section. But just the way he's responding on social media, like who says they know I'm coming like randomly? It just seems like such a random thing. Like, why don't you just announce your next fight? like a normal person you know what i mean when are you fighting announce it 
Who's your promoter? Like, what what is the deal? Are you moving up to welterweight? You know, just announce the news instead of like these Zodiac killer cryptic messages where people got to decode and decipher what you're even talking about. You know, it is what it is. But that's my two cents on it. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe for more boxing content. Devin Haney looks like he is trying to work on some of his deficiencies that were put on display in the Ryan Garcia fight. More boxing coming soon.